In this video, we are uh, trying to understand uh, what is the meaning of a streamlined flow. Uh, let us say we have a pipe in which a liquid is flowing. Let us say this is the pipe in which the liquid is flowing. Right. So this is the pipeline, and the liquid enters over here and comes out from here. And let us say this is cross section one, and uh, let us say this is cross section two of the liquid. Right. So, if this flow were stream, if if this flow is streamlined, what would happen is, let us say there is one particle of the liquid entering at this particular location. Let us call this location A. So, a particle enters this pipe over here. This will, this particle will follow a definite path. Let us say it moves along this particular path, right, and it comes out from this particular point. So, this is point A, let us say this is location B, say location C, location D and exit is location E. So particle A or for the particle entering at location A has followed this particular path. Now the next particle which will land up over here will definitely necessarily follow this particular path. So the next particle which enters over here will not go in this direction or this direction or this direction. It will necessarily follow this path. So all particles follow a definite path. A similar thing would happen over here also. Let us say this is location F. So a particle entering at F, let us say, follows a path like this, right, and comes out from this particular point. Every particle that lands up at A will certainly or will necessarily follow this particular path. So this feature makes this flow streamlined flow. This particular line along which the particles travel is known as a streamline. So this is a streamline. Right. Similarly, this is a streamline. And there will be such number of streamlines over here. So this will be another streamline, this will be another one, and so on and so forth. And this particular entire arrangement, entire is arrangement or um, structure is known as streamlined tube, right? It is known as a streamlined tube. Okay. So the first feature of a streamlined flow that we looked at is particles follow a definite path, right? Okay. There is another aspect to streamlined flow. Uh, the second aspect is this: that the velocity of the particle, the velocity of the particle at these locations may be different, but it is constant. That means if the velocity at a, let us say v a, is let us say two meters per second, and at v at location B, say 2.1 meters per second, and at VD, let us say it is 1.98 meters per second. Right? I have taken arbitrary values. These values will be fixed. That means every particle that comes at A will have a velocity of 2 meters per second, and when that particle reaches location B, it will have a velocity of 2.1 meters per second, and at when it reaches D, it will have a velocity of 1.9 meters per second. And this will happen with each and every particle that reaches location A and then B and then C and D. So velocity is not constant throughout the streamline, it is, but it is fixed at different locations. Right? The velocity at D will always be 2.5. It cannot change to 2.1 or it cannot change to 2.2 or 1.9. It will remain constant over here. It will remain constant over here even though these two values may be different. That is the second feature of uh, streamline flow. And the third feature is that mass flow rate mass flow rate at all cross sections mass flow rate at all cross sections is constant okay what does this mean let us say this is cross section 1 right similarly we will have cross section 2 cross section 3 and cross section 4 and infinite such cross sections now if at cross section a let us say 10 kg of the liquid enters in one second right then 10 kg of liquid will also enter at sec cross section 2, cross section 3, cross section 4 and finally at the last cross section, let us call this cross section 5, 10 kg will leave per second. That means the mass flow rate remains constant at all locations and 10 kg will enter in one second, similarly 10 kg will enter over here in one second, so on and so forth and finally 10 kg of liquid will leave uh, the last or the final cross section. Right. So these are the three features of a streamlined flow. This is what makes a streamlined flow. All particles follow a definite path. The velocity at each and every point is fixed. 
even though the value the values at different locations will be different and finally the mass flow rate right mass flow rate of the liquid is constant the mass entering or leaving a cross section per second per unit time is fixed uh, so this is what a streamlined flow is and all our discussions in the this particular topic on uh, motion in fluids uh, will be will be assuming that the flow is streamlined flow so it's very important that we get a good idea about what a streamlined flow is thank you